Hello, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. I just sucked down my greens. If you didn't see my last video, then you might not know, but I'm on a little spring cleaning apartment project rampage. I have a couple things that I want to get done today. I have some art to hang over my bed and in this hallway, and I want to do something about my wine fridge that's not really being put to good use. So I want to go to, I think we'll start at Home Depot and Michael's this morning. I do have a Pilates class at 11 and it's 9 a.m. right now. So we should probably get out and get moving just in case some things take longer because I don't want to miss that class. The project that I was mentioning for the wine fridge is figuring out a way to put shelves in here that are just flat shelves that I can stack like cans in instead of wine and then I'll just put the wine in like a cabinet or something. So I guess I should measure this. And then my Michaels project is getting some custom sized mats cut for these 24 by 36 frames. There's actually three of them. It's a series of three prints that when they're all lined up, they kind of, um, it like makes a bigger picture, but they're like this sketched drawing thing. I don't know. You'll see it later, hopefully, if the mats can get cut today. If you don't know, a mat is the piece of paper that, like, frames out your image in, like, a larger frame. Like, obviously, in the case of the frame TV, like, that is the mat. But in the case of these, like, these are target frames that came with a mat. And you can kind of see that it just adds, like, a little bit of dimension and just makes it look better and nicer and since the size of art that i bought for that wall or since the size of those frames i should say are like poster sized i was having a really hard time finding a mat that didn't look like a poster like i didn't want it to look like too too big it's just like weird proportions that i like the look of but i can't get a mat for so those are gonna go one two three on the hallway wall and i have some like picture lights to hang above them so it'll look really cool i just need to get those mats cut i was trying to flatten out the prints themselves because they came rolled up really tight in a tube um they're a little bit better but they're really strong the paper is super thick so i was using all this stuff too flatten it out but i can never get the sharks right it's like my favorite thing i bought this at a store in raleigh i can try and find the name of it it was kind of expensive but i think this is so cool i love having like cool art says the girl that has a frame tv we make a coffee carry all this stuff down to my car and then we'll go see if we can have any luck with the mats and the shelf situation because i don't even know <laughs> these are like two projects that i just like kind of planned in my head kind of like when you plan an outfit in your head and then you put it on and you're like wait a minute yeah that's kind of the the vibe of today okay i did not think to check the weather and it's pouring and i have to carry the frame into michael's i'm just gonna go for it but i can't balance the frame and the camera so i'll just update you after in hindsight i did not think it was going to be that expensive 157 dollars and 66 cents my hope was that one of these could be cut to be like the same size but it's not looking promising i'm like 90 percent sure this isn't even gonna work so i don't know if it's even worth buying to try out and i think i have to buy like this massive piece i honestly think that i might have an easier time finding a drink fridge that has the same dimensions getting out on like sale and then just ripping the shelves out of it i don't even know how much that would cost but I was hoping this would be easy to find a replacement for, but I guess not. Made these little cauliflower peanut sauce taco things for lunch, and I have a call to make, so I'm gonna eat these while I'm on my call. But I love breaded cauliflower, so this is gonna be so good. I put on a little makeup, curled my hair, and got ready for the day, even though it's like mid-afternoon now. I don't know if you can tell, but I have on this little t-shirt dress from free people and it didn't really have a lot of shape to it probably should have shown you before i tied this but i put on this little scarf as a bell cute right i mean even if it's not cute i'm not leaving today so it doesn't really matter i think i'm actually gonna post a tiktok and ask people if they can think of any solutions for that fridge thing because so far i've thought of glass plexiglass like wire closet shelving wood i don't know if there's just like a really obvious solution that someone can give me so i think i'm gonna film a tiktok but i just love my little outfit i think we have a solution and we also have a new scarf because i filmed an outfit of the day because someone asked about my outfit and i was hoping someone would so yeah i swapped out the scarf and it looks so much better but also a solution for the fridge someone suggested oh gosh i'm like tripping over stuff someone suggested like a cooling rack and i have one and i think it'll work i like held it up in there it's like the same 
ish vibe i think it's sturdy enough this just isn't the right dimension but i did find one on target but i found this at target it's like two cooling racks with a cookie sheet and these cooling racks are supposedly the same dimensions as this so let's run over to target i know i said i wasn't gonna leave the house anymore but if this works it's gonna be so affordable compared to what i thought i was gonna pay i'm a woman on a mission Wait, cutting boards. Okay, that's an option. But where's the cookie sheet? All right, where, 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 where was that? I think it might have been that. None of these are gonna work. I struck out a Target, but I think on Amazon there's some that are supposedly the right dimension, so I'll just order those and see if they work out. Or maybe I'll go to like Home Goods or something this weekend. But I checked the mail on my way home, and the art I ordered for Over the Bed is here. So I'm so excited to open this up and see how it looks because I ordered it off of a Pinterest ad. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. I love it. It's gonna take some getting used to because I'm used to the wall being blank up here, but I think this really rounds out the room. And I love that it brings a little bit of color because if you know me, you know this constitutes as a lot of color. I'll put where I got it in the description box. Like I said, it was just like a random Pinterest ad. I don't even know off the top of my head. But on the topic of mats, this one actually doesn't have a mat. It's just a print. So I think eventually I will get a mat made for this, but that's like an eventual thing. That's not right now. I usually get like seven to 10 stem bouquets, but I've been getting 20 stem lately and dividing them into multiple vases. And I love it because I can put flowers around the apartment. So the next day, I'm going to rapid fire, go through the guest room closet, which is like all of my spring and summer stuff. Kind of scared to see what's in here. This is gonna be hard because I'm gonna wanna keep all of it because this is a lot of new stuff that I've accumulated. And it stinks because you can't really tell, but this door doesn't open all the way. So I'm kind of like trapped right here. Let me just knock this out over like 10 minutes and see what I'm able to get rid of. I definitely need to put a ton of this stuff in space bags. These are just like extra blankets that I feel like I don't need. But as soon as I get rid of them, I will probably need them for something. I don't know. It's always nice to have extra blankets, but they just take up so much space. I do have some leftover or some extra, I should say, space bags that I got at Target when I was organizing organizing the front closet so let's tackle that here's how everything looks i did rip or maybe it came ripped i don't really know but i'm down one space bag so there's like extra blankets and stuff up there this is an air mattress tons of luggage like tons of it but i think it's like all fit in here pretty well i do want to go to target and you guessed it buy some more organizers i want to get i'm trying to figure out how many but more of those bins and labels because right now that has some extra shoes in it. I wanna do scarves and like winter, probably just scarves, honestly. These take up so much space. I bought them this winter, just like those long fluffy scarves. So maybe I'll go over to Target right now, but all of my spring clothes are right here. This is all Goodwill donations, Poshmark, Play-Dohs, that's that and then i've got more stuff on the floor it looks like a mess it is a mess but it makes sense to me and i'm feeling good about this this is what i'm leaving with I got three bins because i already have that one in there and then i got four like little labels for them all of my socks have holes in them so i'm actually gonna like throw those away and replace them today and then this is my favorite 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 wine champagne I don't really know. It's so good. It's like a spritz in and of itself. It's the Chandon Garden Spritz. I don't know. So good. I had this at like the what, City Open, the DC tennis match. I really want to go back this year. Um, but they were one of the sponsors and I had it there and it's amazing and it's kind of hard to find. I think it might be like a summer thing actually. So I just saw a bottle so I'm going to get it. Okay, I haven't labeled any of the bins because I'm still organizing and I don't know if what's in there is going to stay in there. But it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. Hello, happy Sunday. I've been working on the guest room. Nothing exciting, just more organizing and stuff. But I'm almost done. The sheets are washing right now. I also drove all over town and searched high and low for a solution. I looked for 
cutting boards, I looked for cookie sheets, drying racks, everything. Nothing matched the dimensions. These are actually like, the shelves are a little bit angled in, so it's not even a perfect rectangle. I tried corrugated plastic cardboard stuff, nothing worked. So I think this is the only solution. Obviously, if these were flat shelves, could fit way more cans in there. But for now, this is the only thing I can think of. This was actually sitting in the bottom, so I pulled that out. This is obviously not like a huge problem. It just would have been nice to be able to fit more cans in there. At least now I know I tried. I have 20 more minutes on the laundry, so I'm gonna use that 20 minutes to plan out my week, groceries, all that. And then I still have my sheets to wash and laundry to put away, bathroom to clean. I think that's all I'm gonna do tonight. are back on the bed dishwasher is running and i had like steak tacos for dinner it's a great night but i'm just gonna do this totally instant detox mask but i guess all that's left of my weekend is letting this mask dry and then getting in bed so i will end the vlog here thanks so much for coming along on my weekend in my life if you have any last stitch ideas for that little wine fridge let me know i think i'm out of options i think i just have to live with it but i'm all ears if anything comes to you if you want to see more of my youtube videos make sure you're subscribed and go follow me on tiktok and instagram while you're at it thanks so much for watching i will see you in the next video